So I'm here at Halifax Rack and Screw and with Simon Matthews. Simon, uh, one of your most recent purchases is this CMZ turning centre behind us. Uh, a multi-axis machine? It is. It's got a Y-axis uh, tailstock and a travelling steady, automatic steady on it. Uh, it must have been quite some decision because there's a lot of these uh, types of machines available in the marketplace. What points did you, or what points pushed you in the direction of actually ordering this brand? Uh, the main reason was the, the, the travelling steady on a separate slideway, which, which allows us to machine long slender parts. So can you go into a bit more detail? How does that work then? What, what's happening and what's the benefit? It's on a separate slideway, programmable, so it allows uh, the steady to follow the toolpath and support the job all the way down. Right, so really wherever the, the, the sort of cutting edge of the or wherever you're cutting is fully supported as well isn't it it's following all the, the way down the shaft yeah so it allows us to do we could do up to 1300 uh, millimeters long on this machine and we can follow it all the way down so what's the real tangible benefit to that then the fact that you've got more security in your machining the fact that the, 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 the maintain better tolerances surface finish where surface what the finish on threads mainly on deeper threads um, we, have, we have strategies to machine threads, we don't just do full form, we do, uh, we do flank threads as well to achieve better surface finishes. Okay, I noticed a big U-drill going through one of these jobs as well. Yeah. What sort of length and, and, and diameter was that? That was 38 millimetres diameter and that's 530 long. You must be having to have through to coolant on that as well, we've do you? Got, we've got high pressure coolant on the machine. Okay, now that comes through the turret and this is my next point. You've got a lot of tools on here. We have, we've got 16 tool turret, which gives us a lot of flexibility. And one of the things that Z CMZ push uh, quite heavily is the power of their machine, especially if you go to the factory in, in Spain. Uh, is that right? Have you got an opinion on that? Absolutely. The machine is very powerful. You can take a very deep cut and control your final tolerances. Uh, are, you, are you testing it out with pretty difficult materials as well? Yeah, yes, yeah. We've done nickel alloys. We've done uh, all the ends, the alloy steels. S690. Okay, because I'd also make an observation with this machine that the access is quite good. Sometimes overlooked, people look at the power, the capability, but what about from the operator's perspective? Seems like a nice, nice fit for him. Yeah, when the doors open, you've got access, full access to the machine. Um, and I think the guys that run it really like the machine. Yeah. And it's also got that touchscreen control, which I see. Yeah, absolutely. Keeping it in modern times. Uh, CMZ. Uh, if you haven't seen these machines in the market, they are, uh, what I would say at the moment, becoming of interest to a lot of engineers who are looking at general purpose machining of all types of materials, uh, fully endorsed here by Simon at uh, Halifax Rack and Screw Company.